Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What is up you guys, Claudio back again with another reaction and this time we have Transformers The Last Night. Now, um, this is the teaser trailer, but it's a bit over two minutes, so I think it'd be plenty for us to to, uh, to check out and, and, uh, and see if it's any good or not. I don't know, I'm a bit so-and-so um, when it comes to the Transformers uh, movies. Some of them are good, some of them are really bad actually. Um, uh, this, I believe this is like the fifth one, um, uh, did they, did they need another one? I don't think so, I don't think they needed another one, to be quite honest, I don't think they needed another one, but I mean, um, uh, these movies do pretty well, uh, I believe, uh, Michael Bay is directing once again. So we're gonna see a bunch of explosions and a lot of stuff uh, blow up. That's that's kind of how these movies are, I guess. What's what's um, what's a bit odd to me? It's it's that uh, Anthony Hopkins is supposed to be in this one. That's a bit unexpected for him to take a role in a Transformers movie for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I feel that way, but it, I don't know. Um, I, I wouldn't picture him in one of the Transform Transformers movies, to be quite honest. I know Mark Bar Wahlberg is back. Um, which I didn't think he would be, either, for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, he's back. And this time he has uh, Anthony Hopkins. I don't know Anthony Hop Hopkins' role in this movie at all. But uh, it's pretty interesting that he's in it. Uh, at least I think so. Uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking we let, let's just look at it. Let's see. Let's see what's up and uh, we can uh, uh, Discuss this further in the comment section after the video is over. Let's do this Pop! Okay It has been said Through the ages oh Three-headed dragon. Without sacrifice, there can be no victory. Two species at war. One flesh. One metal. Optimus Prime has left us. Oh, really? One hundred billion trillion planets in the cosmos. Do you want to know, don't you? Why they keep coming here? Yeah. What the hell? I want to stay. Wow. And I want to fight them. And now, two worlds colliding. The operation is over. We're not giving up, okay? Only one survives. Forgive me. What? Huh. Okay. Thoughts. Yeah, guys, man, this looks um, 
This looks uh, darker, um, more grittier than the, the previous movies, for sure. Uh, did Optimus Prime just take out fucking Bumblebee in the last scene there? Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on. The big planet, was that Cybertron? I don't think so, but something it looks like a big planet coming towards the, the moon. But Cybertron was supposed to be really big. That wasn't that big. But I don't know. I don't know what that was. Uh, also, uh, I noticed that um, Optimus' eyes were purple for some reason. Well, they're normally bluish, and the Decepticons have like red eyes or something like that. So uh, maybe he's been uh, um, controlled or. Uh, used in some way I don't know man uh, this was kind of dark I have to say I saw one uh, uh, robot I, I don't even know if we have Decepticons versus uh, Autobots what's the deal in this movie I don't even know that looked like the ED uh, uh, the, the, the one from the for the Robocop movies, ED209 or something like that. You remember that, that robot with two legs basically and like like two cannons? Reminded me of that one. Bumblebee was fighting it, you can see it uh, in the trailer. Uh, I don't know man, this, uh, this looks dark as hell. I like that um, Anthony Hopkins was narrating the whole thing. I like that. He seems to have some info on why uh, they can keep coming here. Uh, and uh, I guess we're going to get some answers. Or hopefully we get some answers. Because this is the fifth movie now. So, uh, yeah. Um, as I said, it, it looks a bit darker than before. Uh, I guess they're growing tired of this shit. I mean, it's been five movies already, you know. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, um, I thought this looks, uh, really cool, um, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna go and watch it in the, in the, in the theaters, to be honest, because it's not like, it's not like, I don't, I don't want to say, like, if you've seen one, you've seen them all, because that's not the case at all, but it's like, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I guess I'm a bit tired of of uh, of these uh, of these Transformers movies. Even though I I, 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 I always watch them, uh, but I normally you know, I don't go and see them in theaters. Anyway, uh, yeah. One other thing. One uh, one of the girls uh, in, in this trailer reminded me of Megan Fox, but I don't think she's seen this one. Um, Anyway, they've come a long way since the first movie, to be honest. I mean, I think I think it's a bit frustrating when you change the cast so many times uh, that it becomes... Uh, I don't know. You, if you have a great cast to begin with, then you can, kind of want to follow them in the, in, the, in the journey or adventure or whatever. But here it's like... Nah, I, don't, I don't see it really, you know. But anyway cool explosions pretty loud cool graphics all that stuff it's it's all right it's all right i, I think the, i think the movie's gonna do well as they normally do and uh, yeah man uh cool stuff so let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this uh as always i leave the link in the description box and you can just click there to go and see the trailer again i'm gonna see you i'm gonna watch it one more time just to to, to, to see what i've missed but uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and all that cool stuff. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.